Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. This is just going to be a quick Game Maker jam, and today I'm going to talk about um, two operators that can be used in Game Maker called div and mod. And um, mod is a pretty common one, modulo. It's a really common operator in in quite a few different programming languages but maybe you've never heard of it div is I don't know how common it is but I hadn't heard of it until I discovered it here so let me show you first really quickly what a operator is so an operator is like var i equals zero so this right here the equals sign is an operator and this specifically is called the assignment operator and it's a binary operator, meaning it has two operands. You've got the left side and the right hand. Uh, that was I did that in the opposite order, but you've got the left side and the right hand side, which are the two operands that go to this operator. So that's what an operate. That's what an operator is, and there are quite a few of them in Game Maker, and this actually explains most of them. But we're going to just go over these two today. So the first example I'm going to give you is. Um, the mod operator and there's two ways to do it um, you can do you could do like um, let's do even equals let's do so what you would do is maybe four mod 3. Now what this returns is it returns what the remainder would be. And in this case, the remainder of 4 divided by 3 is going to be 1 because um, 3 can go into 4 one time with a remainder of 1. So if we were to do 4 divided by, well let's do actually 5 divided by 2, this would also, or mod two, sorry. This would also have a. Uh, this would also return one, meaning five. Two can go into five two times, but there's still a remainder of one. So it always returns the remainder. And this is, uh, this is a common way to find out if a number is even, because if it's whenever you do an even number, um, modded by two, it always return zero because the remainder is zero right so um, the other way to do it is you can actually type mod instead of doing the percent sign and that does the same thing so uh, you might have some um, script that would that would say something like this you know if our argument well I don't want to go into the into the extreme details of it but you can use mod to find out if a number is divisible by or if a number is even or odd. So the other one I'm going to do is the div operator and it returns how many times a number can go into another number without the remainder. So if uh, if we were to do var n equals um, 5 div 2 um, now we're going to get, this is going to return 2 because 2 goes into 5 two times, and but it just discards the remainder and ignores it like it's not even there. So I'm going to show you a useful case for the div operator that would be something you could use in your game. So all I've got is I've got a room and I've got this one object called object block and I've got a step of an end step event for this object. And we're going to make this block follow the mouse but have it snap to a grid. And the way you can do this is you can do x equals, let's see, parentheses, mouse, x, div, 32, times 32. y equals mouse, y, div, 32, times 32. And what this does is it says whatever the mouse position is, like let's say the mouse position is, uh, is 33 right which is going to be not snapped that's not in our grid our grid is going to be 32 
um, 32 by 32 squares, right? 33 is not going to be inside of our grid. But what it's going to do is going to it's going to take that value and do the div operator on it, which 32 is going to go into 33 how many times? One time, right? And then you're going to times it by 32, which is going to put it to the grid, the number 32. What if we had 45 in here? Well, 45 or 45 right here, what if the mouse X value was 45? Well, 32 can still only go into 42 or 45 one time. So it's going to um, return one and then times it by 32 and it's gonna put it at 32. So our X position is always gonna be at 32 until we get higher. What if we're at 69, right? 32 can go into 69 two times so now we're in the next grid, but it's still going to be um, 2 times 32, which is 64, which is still snapped to our grid. So you can see what this does is it forces the X and Y position of this block to snap to a 32 by 32 grid. And it's a pretty cool little way of doing it. So um, there are other ways to do this as well, by the way. So uh, this is just one way to do it. You can do it um, using like specific rounding functions and stuff but I thought this was a neat way to do it and I thought I'd show it to you so uh, let's run this real quick and make sure it works so you can believe me that it actually does work and you can see here it follows the mouse position but snaps to a grid of 32 by 32 so this might be useful if you were going to build some sort of a uh, um, maybe like a sandbox game where you wanted to be able to create blocks or whatever, but you wanted them to snap to a grid. So that's one way to do it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm doing this tutorial series with Ryan and we're switching off videos. So be sure and check out the next video in this series, which will be done by Ryan. I'll put a link to his channel right here. So you can go check out his channel. He's got some great videos there. And thank you guys for following uh, and watching this video. Be sure and like favorite and if you haven't subscribed yet well you should probably subscribe now because you've been watching my videos so just go subscribe um, I really appreciate you guys and I will talk to you later